Okay, what we have here is a problem. And looking at the top for this dresser that we've already done a bit of whitewashing on, you can see that it's made of poplar. And it's got some greens through it. It had some browns, a little bit of red. Poplar is a very, um, a very interesting choice for a top for a dresser if it were just going to be left natural. It's not very pretty, but it is an inexpensive, very hard wood. The nightstands, however, are made out of red oak on their tops. And this causes a problem because when I go to do the whitewash, it's going to turn pink. And I don't want a pink wash. I want kind of just a nice white color like we have on the top of the dresser. So I think what we're gonna have to do, and I hope this is gonna work, is um, put a shellac on the tops to seal that wood so that those tannins don't bleed through. And then we will try to whitewash them after that and see what happens and then we will know which way we're gonna have to go. I could spray the shellac on with um, the shellac spray, but as I've already painted these, I really don't want to risk messing up that paint job. So I'm just gonna do it with one of these sponges that I'm not a big fan of, but they do have their, their purposes. And this would be one of them. Now I'm just putting this on straight out of the can. I didn't cut it. It's, this is not like a finished coat. Um, it's just to seal those tannins in and hopefully that wood doesn't bleed through and turn our piece pink. Now that we've got the shellac on here, let's give this a little sand down, get some whitewash on it and see if we're where we want to be. Just gonna sand in between. We may have to do more than one coat, but that's okay. I think this might work. Hopefully we're not gonna get pink. But what I'm trying to do is get the red tones out of this wood is all I'm really trying to do and um, get these woods to match. We've done two coats of whitewash on this now. It's not as red, but I'm still not completely happy with it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play around with a little bit more color. Um, and what I've done is I've taken some of the whitewash and I've added just a couple of drops of gray. And I'm going to put that on and see how that looks. I think adding some different colors in it might, might make it better, might make it worse, but we're gonna find out together. The thing about painting furniture is it's all about you. And if you don't get what you want out of it, try something else. That's a bit better. We're getting there. Little changes. Just do little changes and eventually you'll get the right look you want. All of my efforts at taking the pink out of this, the tops of these nightstands doesn't seem to be working at the moment. So we're gonna go for the nuclear option. We're going to try and neutralize it with some green. And this will either work or I will have to sand it all back down and try again. I think it might work. I think we might be getting somewhere. Oh, it's exciting. Okay, we're gonna let that dry and then we will see if we've got a green mess or if we've neutralized the red out of that. Okay, so the nightstand is nightstand tops are done. Um, I did some of it off camera um, just to finally get there to not make you watch it 
because it wasn't a very exciting process. It's just a putting colors on and wiping colors off. So what we ended up using was a little bit of this honey color, white, a little bit of green. The green helps to neutralize the red and a bit of gray to give us some, some striation. Um, but that's, that's kind of how the whole process went is just putting it on until I got it to a point that I thought that it would be okay. It is not a perfect match. These have a bit more of a gray tint to them, but it's pretty good with the poplar top. And I'd much rather leave the poplar top as light as I can. I like the look of it. I could have darkened it to match this better, but I chose not to. It would be highly unlikely that you would have a dresser and a nightstand side by side. And I think if they're not together, they'll be fine. So I'm, I'm quite pleased with it. It doesn't have that pinkish tone to it. It doesn't have too much yellow to it. So I think they're gonna match quite well. So let's look at the final results and see how we did. I hope this will encourage you that if you don't like the color of wood you have, then you can make some changes to it without having to re-veneer or paint the whole thing. 